is going on YouTube? It is Sunday. Um, and I'm going to try and keep this beginning as brief as possible. Um, but my entire video, which is about, it's probably going to be about 15 minutes long. I do apologize about the whole middle. Um, but it's going to be about the entire Urban Meyer case. I only use one article. You already know what it is. And again, leave a like. Subscribe to me if you haven't because more videos are coming. And have a great day. See you at the end of the video. Okay, so topic for today that I wanted to try and discuss briefly, but it's probably going to take a long time because of the, all the details that I need to bring up in this situation so that I know what I'm talking about. This might take a long time. The Ohio State coach, head coach, Urban Meyer, and assistant coach, Zach Smith, um, who recently got fired, um, and coach the head coach, Urban Meyer, who we all know got suspended for th three regular season games without pay this year. So I'd like to ask you guys to take a flashback and go back a couple years to 2015. Now, I don't know the exact story. Um, I'm still figuring out the entire story right now. Uh, but back in 2015, um, the assistant coach Zach Smith, um, so the assistant coach Zach Smith in 2015 did some sort of domestic violence, violence thing, got caught by the police. tells Urban Meyer about this, so Urban Meyer knows that this situation has happened in one way, shape, or form. Don't know how he knew about this, but in some way, shape, or form, he knows that Zach Smith did this thing and still kept him on his coaching staff. Keep that in mind. So now, fast forward to the present and actually a couple months back, Coach Urban Meyer was put on leave because they thought that, or the authorities of Ohio State University were investigating on this issue. Now, recently, like Wednesday or Tuesday of this week, the same authorities of Ohio State University, I'm calling them authorities, I don't know what exactly they're called, but anyways, <clears throat> they, they convened together and resulted that the head coach should only be suspended for three regular season games without any pay whatsoever. Here's something that I'm bringing up from the Wall Street Journal, the only one article that I looked at, and it seems pretty clear to me that if any other coach tried to pull this off, no matter how good of a record that they got, they would have gotten fired on the spot. And I don't see why they're still keeping Urban Meyer as a head coach over at Ohio State University. I'm not the authorities over there, so I don't know what their judgment is. I'm just saying that if any other coach tried to pull this off, they would have gotten fired on the spot. So it says here, at the news conference following the exchanges, Meyer categorically, categorically denied having any knowledge of any allegations against Smith in 2015. He later wrote in an August 3rd tweet that he was aware of the allegations and apologized for the way I handled those questions. All this is in quote from the Wall Street Journal. Now, to be honest, 
if he knew about this and lied to the media about this, no matter how they say he lied about it, I don't understand why he's still a coach at Ohio State University. By the way, you can comment on this down below. Please do because I'll be looking at the comments and getting some insight on how you guys feel on this situation because I know come on, coming from a coaching standpoint or soon to be a coach, if I tried to pull this off, I would have been fired on the spot. And if I even heard about him doing this domestic violence kind of thing, I would have fired him first thing and would have been like, I'm not going to handle your situation. Because I don't, I don't want to deal with your backstory life. If you got arrested, if you got arrested for domestic violence or got accused of domestic violence or something like that, I can't, I don't want to be put into a boat where I can get in trouble and getting fired. I don't want my job being at stake because of what you do out of the football life. Just saying. And I know that I can sound mean, but ultimately what it comes down to is if that actually did happen and all this other stuff goes around, I don't want to be around with that guy that did something wrong so that my job is at stake. I don't want to put myself in that position, if that makes sense. Comment, up, comment down below. Um. It also says in this Wall Street Journal, but a few things are clear from the 23-page report alone. One of them is how intent Meyer was on concealing the detailed history of Zach Smith's alleged issues. In a text message to his agent on the morning of July 24th, shortly before his appearance at Big Ten Media Days in Chicago, Meyer wrote, I will not tell media. He lived up to that promise when asked about Zach Smith's alleged abuse while coaching under Meyer in 2015, Meyer told reporters he first learned about that late the previous evening. Meaning that he didn't know about it until the night before he met with the media July 24th. Does that make sense at all? Something smells fishy in that statement right there. Don't know exactly what that is. But to me, that doesn't sound right at all because he knows about it. And yet he's still going to be the coach of Ohio State University. Most of these quotes that I'm saying right now are going to be off the Wall Street Journal because this information seems pretty clear. And this is only the first article that I've looked at. There, there's more, of course. There's more info on this. But it doesn't seem right that he would still be the head coach of Ohio State when any other coach, like Coach Steve Davis, head coach of Olympia High School, Coach Pete Carroll, head coach of Seattle Seahawks, Coach Jim Harbaugh, don't know what he's the head coach of now. I think he's the head coach of University of Michigan. My dad, even, coach, coach of St. Michael's School back in Olympia. All those coaches would have been fired on the spot if they had been put in the same situation. No matter what their record is. So I don't understand. I mean, and I'm not really supposed to understand. Because I'm not part of the authorities at Ohio State University. But it seems pretty clear to me that if any other coach tried to pull this off, they would have been fired. Including coaches like Coach Bill Belichick. Head coach of the New England Patriots. Or some other coach that you guys know, like Chip Kelly. Or any other coach. To me, it just doesn't make any sense why they would still have Urban Meyer as a head coach. So, anyway... I know this seems like an odd topic to be talking about on a Friday morning, but 
you know, it's a recent, it's a recent event. Everybody's talking about it, and I had to put. It, I thought I had to put in my input on the whole case here. So, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more videos here in a few days and some more reactions. I'm actually going to be working on my next set of reactions for um, my wrestling videos. Go ahead and check those out when I post them. Um, other than that, have a great day. And uh, God bless. Assistant coach Zach Smith got um, <clears throat> was a ret well not really a, as far as I know not arrested but was put up to authorities on a domestic violence uh, case. I think he was actually arrested for a domestic violence case. Told Urban Meyer about it either. Either Coach Zach Smith himself or the authorities or somebody, somebody told Coach Urban Meyer about this. He knows about this. And yet he still kept assistant coach Zach Smith on his coaching staff up until 2018, 2017, 2017, 2018 football season. Keep that in mind. What also makes the situation worse is that he even put there's a there's a quote in this uh, Wall Street Journal here, um, if I can find it, that says a quote from Urban Meyer to. His assistant who got uh, who, who, who did all this other stuff. I don't even I don't even want to know all this other stuff that he did. Um, da, 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 where is it? I know I found the quote here. It's in this article, and it's crazy. Oh, I found it. Okay, so. Um, after knowing about this situation, he goes straight up and says this, if you hit her, you are fired, which makes me believe that he knows of the situation. He lies to the media about it intentionally or unintentionally. To me, this is intentionally that he lied to the media and apparently he was monitored regularly for a period of months who knows if he actually was but I know for a fact that even after this and knowing knowing full well that this is the case, because why would he say that if this wasn't the case? To be honest, I don't know why he is still on their coaching staff. It doesn't make any sense to me, but you know, what am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? There's, I'm not part of the authorities at Ohio State University. I can't make decisions, so I'm just putting out what I think. And to be honest, Ohio State fans, if you heard, are trying to keep Coach Urban Meyer. They're supporting Coach Urban Meyer in one way, shape, or form, from what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me on that. But it just doesn't make any sense to me why he would still be on their coaching staff because he knows. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said, if you hit her, you are fired. Straight out of the Wall Street Journal. Which to me, full proof that he knows what's going on. 
He lies to the media. Three-way ticket out the door. And that concludes my video on the whole Urban Meyer case. Thank you for bearing with me on the entire situation. Need to make sure all facts were said and all my viewpoints were put in there. So if you liked what I said, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also subscribe to me if you haven't. If you have anything against what I said or anything you wanted to add to what I was saying or any suggestions, Go ahead, leave those in the comments down below. Again, like and subscribe. This is already long enough as it is, so I'm going to say Luke is out. Peace.